Hey guys. Okay. <sighs> Welcome to week eight. Um, I'm trying to wait till the end of my weeks to actually do my weekly vlogs. Um, and I look absolutely terrible today. You guys, I am so sick. I really, in all honesty, do not even have the energy to do this video. As you can tell, I'm like out of breath. Like any little thing <sighs> just puts me so out of breath. Um, and I don't think the sickness is pregnancy related. I'm just, I have a really bad cold. And on top of already being exhausted, I'm also sick on top of that. So it's like doubled. Um, but the pregnancy is going very well. Um, I'm very happy to be eight weeks. Um, my weeks switch over on a Tuesday. Um, and normally I'm going to try to do my videos on a Monday. Um, before they actually switch over, but I'm really busy this Monday, and I know I'm not going to have a chance to, um, do a vlog, so you're going to get it a few days early. Um, let's see, week eight. Um, the nausea has pretty much gone away. I'm not nearly as nauseous as I used to be, um, which is good. I'm, like, so thrilled that I'm not, like, ready to throw up every two seconds. Um, however, the exhaustion is really, really driving me nuts. Um, I have never in my life felt like this. And I'm, like, super emotional, which of course I expected, but I'm super emotional and I'm tired all the time. You guys don't even... It's, like, a type of exhaustion that you can't even comprehend unless you're experiencing it. Um, and I feel like the worst mother ever because um, Zoe wakes up every morning between like 6.30 and 7.30 and I usually get right up with her and I give her her breakfast and you know that's when we start our day. Well, I'm lucky if I can get myself out of bed. I do not want to get out of bed in the mornings. Um, and I know she's in there hungry and crying and it's, I feel bad because I could care less <laughs> and I'm like I want to go back to sleep and um, the only thing that makes me get up is hearing her in there calling mama and I'm thinking okay she's hungry it's not her fault that I feel this way so I force myself out of bed and I get her her breakfast and take care of her which of course I do anyway it's just it's hard and it makes me feel like a really bad mom because I'm so tired and I'm really really short tempered with her and I'm trying not to be because I know it's not her fault and I know she doesn't understand why mommy feels this way um, but I'm really really just praying that the second trimester all of this exhaustion goes away because I cannot take it anymore um, my um, my classes are seriously suffering um, oh it's so bad you guys I don't know what's wrong with me I am so not motivated I could care less about my classes which is very strange for me because I'm always very motivated um, as far as school goes, and I'm always really wanting to make good grades and all of this stuff, and it's like all of a sudden, I could just, pff, I don't care. <laughs> I don't want to do the work. I don't want to be in school. I just, I don't care. Um, and that's a problem for me because I, if I stay on track, I'll have my associate's degree in May. So it's a really bad time for me to become unmotivated. Um, so I'm really just trying to suck it up and deal with it, um, until at least the end of the semester. Um, I may take next semester off, I don't know. Um, I think I still need to take a class or two, but I don't know y'all, we'll see. <laughs> um, I sound terrible too, I'm like losing my voice, ugh. Um, but yeah, the exhaustion is really, really, really driving me crazy. Um, seriously, like I think if I could sit in one place all day long and not move, like I would be completely content with that. Um, and maybe it's just because the first pregnancy was easier because I didn't have a child that I was running around with, but I'm exhausted. I cannot even, ugh, you guys, I'm so, I don't know, I don't keep saying it, but you guys have no idea. It's just, it is ridiculous. It is insane. Um, and I'm not, I'm a get up and go kind of person, so to be so out of commission from exhaustion like this is driving me nuts. I cannot stand it. Um. I don't want to clean the house. I don't want to do my schoolwork. I don't want to get up and clean toys up. I don't want to get a shower. I don't want to do anything. Um, I don't know. I asked my doctor about it in my, la in my last appointment, and she said that's normal. It'll pass within the second trimester. And I'm shedding. Great. Uh, my hair's falling out. <laughs> um, 
I lost my train of thought. Um, but yeah, my doctor said that it would go away with the second trimester, so I'm hoping and praying that that is true, um, because I can't take the exhaustion anymore. Other than that, though, I really feel pretty good, um, other than the cold and the being tired all the time. Um, I feel good. I feel really good. Um, I am so happy. We're so happy to have, be having another little baby, and, um, we're so blessed, and, you know, I will deal with any amount of exhaustion that this kid can dish out, I guess, um, because I know it's going to be so worth it in the end, um, and it's only temporary. It's not going to last forever, um, and I have a very supportive husband who helps me out as much as he can, because he understands that I'm exhausted, like, literally exhausted, um, so that really, really helps out. Um, what else? I feel like there's other stuff I should be talking about. Um, uh, I don't know. I was going to show you guys the belly, but I'm not wearing a very good shirt to show you guys the belly. Um, because it's all loose. Like, it's, I'm wearing, I'm actually wearing a maternity shirt right now, though, so it's, like, really, really big. Um, See, I can't even, like, focus to do this video. That's how ridiculously tired I am. Um, but yeah, week eight is going great, I guess. <laughs> um, the thing that's been going on, especially this week, um, is hunger. Like, it is ridiculous. I will eat, like, I eat, like, a bunch of small meals throughout the day, but it doesn't seem to matter. Um, <laughs> I didn't know those clothes were up there. I wouldn't have had them up there. Um, but it is ridiculous. Um, you guys, I will eat, like, I'll eat a pretty good-sized meal. Like, something that would fill a normal person up for a good five or six hours um, will fill me up for, like, two. And it's not, like, two hours later I have this just craving, like, eh, this kind of sounds good. No, my stomach is growling, it is hurting, and I am literally starving again. Um, and I'll go eat again, and again, and again, and it's so annoying. I feel like I cannot buy or keep enough food in this house. Um, I'm a garbage disposal, basically. Um, and it's so hard for me going from being this, like, crazy dieting type person for an entire year, trying to get back to a healthy weight, to being this hungry all the time and still trying to incorporate eating healthy into my diet. I think I'm doing okay, but I do slip up <laughs> at least every other day and I eat a bunch of crap, um, but I haven't gained any weight at all. I'm still right at 145, um, like fluctuating between 145 and 146. When I went to the doctor, I weighed in at 143, but I'm going by my scales, so I'm going to say 145 is probably more accurate. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, I haven't gained any weight, so I guess that's good. I shouldn't be gaining weight yet, you know. Um, I'm only eight weeks, so. <laughs> I know with my first pregnancy, though, when I was eight weeks, I had gained at least, at least six pounds. Um, so I'm doing a lot better already, but, oh, I'm so hungry. I could eat anything and everything. Um, cravings this last week, um. One day I craved Papa John's pizza, like really bad, um, for days, and my husband finally ordered me a pizza, and I ate like half of it. It was a medium, it wasn't like a huge one, but um, I ate like half of it in one sitting, <clears throat> and I was shocked because I never, I don't even usually eat pizza, I don't even like pizza that much, um, but oh my god, I was craving it so bad. Um, but then after I had it, the craving went away, and it wasn't a big deal. Um, and then after that, I was craving, like, potatoes and, um, like, green beans, you know, really kind of healthy type stuff. Um, and then it was banana popsicles. That's been the most recent one. Um, oh my gosh. I did not have cravings like this with my daughter at all. Um, not, not at all. <clears throat> and my husband doesn't understand. He's like, he doesn't understand that it's not just a thought like, hmm, that sounds really good. It's like an overwhelming feeling like I have to have this food item and I have to have it now or I'm going to rip somebody's head off. Um, and that's how I feel about it. Um, and I'll get very angry and defensive. And <laughs> I don't know. I'll get pretty mean if I can't get what I want. Um, 
but I don't have cravings every day. It's not a daily thing. It's just maybe, maybe two or three times a week I'll really be craving something. Um, and for the most part, except for the pizza incident, I've been craving pretty healthy stuff. I haven't been craving any um, ridiculously fatty foods or anything like that. So I think the pizza was probably my only really bad um, food craving. Um, but I haven't had, I haven't craved that since, so I'm doing really good. Um, but it's crazy how much I can eat. I swear, I think I eat enough to, for three grown men in a day. Like, it's ridiculous. I could probably feed three grown men with what I eat in a day. That's what I meant. Um, pregnancy brain, it's, I can't even think. <laughs> I feel so bad, you guys. Um, I could probably go lay down in bed right now and close my eyes and be asleep in, like, two seconds. Um. Plans for this next week, um, I really want to get my hair done. My hair is looking a mess. Look, it's so long, and my ends are, like, ridiculously split. It has been probably about eight months since I've done anything to my hair. Um, and my bangs are all, like, uneven, and it's looking pretty rough, and I really need to do something about my hair. Um, I think I'm going to get it cut, like, three inches, and dye it, and highlight it, and make them make it look nice because <laughs> I'm tired of dealing with it. It's just, uh, it's just ridiculously long. Um, and it gets caught in my daughter, like when I'm hugging my daughter or singing her song, or trying to get her to sleep, she's always like trying to brush my hair out of her face because it's always in her face and uh, it's annoying. <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely getting something done about my hair this week. Um, I am ordering my cloth diapers this week, for those of you who don't know that I will be cloth diapering. Um, I basically have all of my order forms filled out and everything, I just have to actually place the order. So cloth diapers will be ordered this week, and of course I will do a separate video on cloth diapering all in general. Um, I'm so excited to start cloth diapering. Um, we spend so much every week just on diapers for Zoe, and she's still working on being potty trained, so... <sighs> It's a mess. I know I keep sighing. I'm like, oh, like every two seconds. You guys, I'm so exhausted. I can't, oh, it's driving me nuts. I'm not used to being this tired. I am such a get up and go person that this is just driving me crazy. Um, but I think that's about it for week eight. Um, I hope you guys are all doing fabulous and wonderful. Um, baby dust to those of you who are TTCing. Um, I think about all of you TTCers all the time and I pray for you guys every night and I just know that you're going to have a baby in the near future. <laughs> I believe that. Um, it's hard though, you guys. I Speaking, it's so weird because I can speak from both ends of the spectrum, from going through infertility to it just randomly kind of happening to me. So I can kind of understand both wavelengths. Um, however, I know every situation is different, and I would never in a million years say I know how you feel because I know I probably don't. Um, even if I've been through similar situations, um, because everyone deals with things so differently. Um, but I, I'm sending everyone baby dust, and I wish you all the best of luck, um, and thank you to all of my new subscribers. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm sorry I'm not more peppy and upbeat in this video. Hopefully I will be better next week, um, and not so sick and just blah, but I guess that's about it, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, y'all. Okay, so week eight, ignore the uh, crazy hobo looking pants. <laughs> Front, side, Ugh. that is week eight.